SignLab gives you the option to automatically send cut data, like registration marks and contour cut lines, to a PDF file. This enables you to easily export cutting data without sending print data. Now you can manage cutting and printing data on different systems. Some cutters have their own software to control and process jobs sent to their devices. Cutters from Zoomed and Suma, as well as new Chinese-based cutters, can ingest and understand the published cut PDF files. Cutters currently using the HPGL driver such as models from Roland, Mimaki and Graftech will not be able to use these PDF files. In our example, go to the layer viewer to see the layers. The layers start with simple names such as layer 1, layer 2, and so on as they are created. In this SignLab file, we created a total of three layers, one with the artwork, one for cut lines, and one for registration marks. To change the layer names, right-click on the layer name and select Edit Layer. The name is highlighted, and you can type in the new layer name. Layer 1 will contain the artwork, so we will change the name to print data. Layer 2 will contain the contour cut data, so we will set that layer name to through cut. Finally, layer 3 will contain the registration information so it is named Regmark. Expand the print data layer and you will see two objects with the names Alpha Bitmaps. This is the artwork for the stickers. Now that the layers have been prepared, you will have to create contour cut and registration objects in the drawing area before you can publish a cut PDF. The contour cut lines will be created quickly for this example, but can be explored in depth on our YouTube channel. After creating the contour cut lines, you will now see an object named Poly Arc, which is the contour cut object. Click on this object and drag and drop it on the layer named Through Cut. It will now reside on the Through Cut layer. Once the contour cut is created, you can add registration marks. Start by selecting all objects in the drawing area. Go to the Edit menu, choose Select All and then click on objects. This selects everything. With the object selected, click on the regmark layer. This is important. Once the registration marks are created, they can't be moved to another layer. By selecting the regmarks layer, you ensure the registration marks will be created on the correct layer. Go to the shape tools on the left toolbar and select multi-registration mark. Marks automatically appear around the selected object. The top area changes to settings for the registration marks. The left box contains options for types of registration marks. Next to the right is the size of the registration mark. We know that the cutter software will look for 0.2 inch circles and replace them with registration marks used by the cutter. We'll be using circles with width and height of 0.2 inches. The next section to the right sets the position of the registration marks, corners, midway, or custom position. Finally, you set the offset, which is the distance the registration marks will be set from the objects. When you are finished, click close. The registration mark objects now appear in the regmark layer in the layer viewer. You are now ready to publish cut PDF. Next go to the file menu and select publish to PDF. Choose the location where you will save the cut PDF file. Name the file and click save. You now have a PDF that contains the cut and registration information needed for your job. The cutter interface software has been set up to look for registration information on a layer with the name regmark. Using a preset criteria of a 0.2 inch dot, it will turn any 0.2 inch dot into a registration mark and place it on a layer. It will also look for a layer named through cut and use any information on that layer as the cut line to be cut by the cutter. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you hit the like button and if you have any questions, please reach out to us at any time and don't forget to subscribe for more videos covering SignLab products.